Hello Gemini, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at general energies for the week of May 16th. Uh -huh. Ace of Pentacles coming through. <laughs> for the week of May 16th through to May 22nd. I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is a general reading. So take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And have you checked out your Sun, Moon and Rising signs? As this might actually give you more in you know, a deep information of what's happening. Okay, Gemini, you ready? What's coming in for you? Let's go. What's coming? Four of Wands. Well, like if Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands. Two of Wands. Wow. Three of Wands. I'm surprised there's no Wands. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Wowzers. I didn't see this coming. Gemini. What a week for you guys. All right. So Ace of Pentacles is beautiful idea. What I do like a Pentacles idea, it is a thought that can manifest. It's Pentacles is manifestation. I mean, especially when you have this new beginning thought, there is more kind of tangible and real feel about it. It's very realistic, even though there's a lead kind of to the pyramids quite far away. But you can see the road. It's kind of really achievable idea and thing. Wow. It could be actually a job offer. It, and it feels very really realistic, you know. And it could be a real kind of idea, offer, that something is manifestational. Easily, not easily, but doable. And it doesn't feel too, too big to not do it, not planning it. It kind of feels good. That's how I feel. And four of ones. And it is kind of... Four of ones is personal achievements in a way. Each of those ones are life experience. And it is actually a celebration. Maybe you are signing new contracts and joining new company or uh, people or uh, doing something new thing. Maybe signing a lease for your own shop or own kind of business. And it feels really, um, really kind of celebratory. So, you no know, kind of situation of celebration and here we have another it's like two aces means yes 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 it's like double yes from universe and you have the passion you have the real groundedness and money side sorted out and you have the passion thing ace of wands is talking about pure passion sometimes it could be a relationship and maybe you are joining um, and getting married and this is could be partnering up with someone could be so not just romantically it could be partnering up for a um, business fair or um, something to do with the hobby something to do you really like you're really passionate about because wands are real uh, passion kind of thing and it, this could be actually love related because that is um, the sign of element of love and passion and what you really care for um, it's interesting that it is as ace of pentacles hand from the universe leads to the east okay it's north south east and west right so it is kind of to the future and ace ones is going to the kind of back to the west but having said that it could be the real showing that it is something that you went to do or wanted to do for a long time or from the past so it's something that you really have uh, been thinking about it and dreaming about it and had this kind of fire in the belly and never maybe didn't know how to actually do it so we have seven of ones, seven of ones and sometimes that can cause look you spread some idea to someone what they're gonna do they're gonna try to protect you sometimes one two be jealous and hence they are trying to talk you out of it and you feel like you are defending yourself and defending yourself um why are you doing it and so so keep in mind maybe when you do new things as such that is really, really calling you. You're really passionate for it. Maybe look who you uh, share this information with. Because even the closest friends sometimes can suddenly change. And change their opinions of you. And maybe they think that you should stay where you are. Have no changes. Because they fear you might succeed. You know? And they might say, I would just want you the best. I don't want you to fail, etc. But sometimes they are thinking, oh, oh dear, I'm still stuck in a job I don't like. And look, you're Gemini, you're going and doing the big things, the big dreams. 
who you think you are. So keep in mind who you share information with. And it kind of feels that you have partnering up with someone, as we have two people here, or you're thinking maybe to go on your own. And you have so many options here. You thinking which way going to bring me closer. And you know what comes straight in my mind, Gemini, is for the highest good. If you ever ask for true um, inspiration or advice from your, your, your deeper self from your or from your spirit guides or angels, ask for what is the best for your highest good. Because sometimes the ego can get in the way. And why I'm saying this, because sometimes the three of ones is talking about that sometimes ego can get hold on us. And that can affect our decision. Why are we making this road? Why are we choosing this journey? It is interesting. I'm going to quickly clarify. Aha, uh -huh, Empress, the mother. So it is something what is calling you is definitely something money. Even though it's passionate and it feels so much passion, you need to have a clear head as well. That Hence, I like the there's Ace of Pentacles. It's kind of draw down, keeps you grounded. And Empress is talking about fertility. Maybe you're trying for baby. You know, it's a good time as an empress is all about fertility and the life of, you see, the river of life is flowing to the crops. It's feeding it. And empress only knows luxury. She talks about um, how comfortable she is. Look, she's sitting against the cushion here and life is great. So when you choose which way to go, look within to see which way you better can progress. And if it, if it takes longer time, choose the one that you choose for the highest good. Wow. All right, Geminis. I'm quickly going to use these lovely symbol cards. This one's coming through. Okay. So definitely this card suggests have good energies around you. Keep uh, people who are draining you and be honest with yourself. Keep them away from you keep surround with the positivity and this is a past um knowledge that is you will need um it is kind of from your deep self and that might need when you choose what you're gonna do dig deep and you will find answers and what is sometimes sort of asking you is to meditate maybe to drop your expectations and just listen and you might get your messages coming through in different ways you might hear it you might see them and there's definitely kind of feel of ask for the advice and we will get the message come back through to you and it's victorious look how beautiful half the reef is here and it's certificate here the person feels very um uh, victorious in a ways so wow when you think as well it's interestingly how they all look back you're looking the one direction. So it could be not just looking at the back as in past, but look within as well. You know, uh, look as well, maybe if you had any past um, similar kind of experiences in your life, what you did right and what was maybe there was room for improvement, maybe so. OK, what you can learn from the past in this will give you maybe some advice what not to do. OK. Alrighty, let's see what angels would like to add for you in this moment. Aha, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This moment will usher in positive new energy. So, hmm, interesting, let's say it could be a new job. And it feels the energy of movement. There's movement definitely happening. Okay, okay, let's see one more card. This one is coming through. Yes, 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 yes. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Beautiful cards. So this is definitely like two aces, double yes from the universe. Wow, Gemini, thanks for being here. I hope you like the reading. Thumbs up if you do so. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye bye.